Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age on the PC. The last time, we checked out the cryptic crypt for the new enemies and got some new items out of it. We went to Tarkington for the first time in, well, forever, pretty much, and did a quest there to get some new outfits. Uh, they're okay for the most part, but uh, they're there. Uh, and today, we're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on keep, keep on keeping on. So, I did go collect a few items off screen real fast. Uh, so, let's see here. Uh, armor. So, for Hendrick, we're going to be able to make his Field Marshal's finery. Uh, the Serpent Skin, easiest way to grab that for the couple pieces that I needed for right now. Uh, the Malicious Black Dragons outside of Heliodor. They're really susceptible to confusion and dazzling, so they're not actually going to get that many hits off of you. So, it's not too shabby. Uh, knight sticks, you can just steal those from the Hork Knights over by uh, the Hotel area that we're in right now. So, yeah, we're good on that. So, let's make this uh, Field Marshal's Finery. Uh, let's see. Yeah, pretty good defense and everything else, really. Alright, uh, let's go a couple of sizzlies here. Let's go with a uh, quadra, the crit, the crit, the crit, the crit, uh, and let's go for some purple action. Now if we get our... Perfect. Yeah, if we get our uh, Aphasis Flame, we'll be sad here. Okay, uh, let's go for a... I was hoping for a, uh, a perfect there, but sadly, no luck. Okay, that should still be pretty freaking good, actually. Brilliantly, yes, awesome. Uh, now for the other item, uh, we also need more serpent skins for that, and we need gold nuglets. Uh, there's a sparkly spot on the Champs Sauvage way station that we can grab it from. Uh, I only got one off screen, but we're going to be able to buy one from someplace in the uh, post game here. So I'm going to go ahead and just purchase it here and just pretend like I got. Pretend like I waited around forever for to respawn to buy it again. So yeah, I'll, I'll survive here. Yeah, 2400 gold coins. Just pretend that I sat there at the Champs of Odd Way Station long enough for it to respawn. So we're going to be able to buy it again here. Uh, Sometime here in the, uh, the, uh, post game. Good crit. Fucking fantastic. And we can just quadrabash down on the bottom here for as long as necessary. Come on. Where's that hephaestus? Okay, that's good too. Ah, perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Double whammy right there. Good shit. Shit. And quadra bash down here. I did okay. I did hit it. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, quadra bash down here. Fucking glorious. Fan fucking fantastic. And now we're going to have another outfit for Hendrick. Nice. I think it's going to look a lot like his uh, general, General's outfit, if I remember correctly. So that'll be not too shabby. Alright, Hendrick, my good sir, instead of the uh, gigant armor, which served decently for a little while there. Uh, let's go ahead and... None for now. And then... Field Marshal's fine. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice little upgrade. 144, 35 health, extra charm, dark damage reduction, so real nice. And then instead of the general jack boots, defense agility, HP, charm. I think I think these other boots are just a better version, right? Defense agility, HP, charm, turn skip. Fuck it. You know, instead of, uh, yeah. I was going to say instead of the Meteor Bracer, put those on. But no, we, we actually do want the extra, like, 200 agility, so that helps. Um, let's see, an extra 
23 defense, an extra 13 agility, an extra 10 health, and an extra 12 charm, and an extra 40% on the turn skip protection, so real nice actually. And there we go. Looks pretty snazzy and white. Let's see, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's basically just the, uh, the white version. But it looks real nice, though. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Good shit. Alright, uh, so that should be everything we're gonna do here for the moment. I don't think you had anything, right? I think we're ready to check, but, uh, yeah, you don't have anything that we care about. Fantastic. Alright, so... Let's go ahead to Arborea, which doesn't have a whole lot for us. It has a couple new enemies nearby, and it has, like, an item that will turn into one of the, um, ultimate weapons at some point. But it's just a nice, quick stop to get it out of the way here, pretty much. Actually, are the enemies down here or are they out? I don't know if they're. I don't know if the enemies I need to find are down here or a little further up. Yeah. Okay. I think they are down here then. Actually, no. They might be. No. I think they're the the path north. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let me, let me look real fast. So I gotta remember here. Okay. Yeah. They're actually all near like the uh, campsite right there. So more or less. So we don't have to worry about this particular path here. But either way, it shouldn't be a terribly long trip here in Arboria. Uh, first off, we need to go talk to the Elder who has some stuff for us. I think they have a couple of new things in the shop, but I don't think they have anything that I really care about. Okay, Dragon's Bane, which I don't care about. Let's see, Gladius, Glow Stick. A blazing bright wand with a futuristic feel. Filled with lashings of light magic. That is pretty cool, actually. What is that? Yeah, it's a it's a sword. Though. It's a wand that looks like a sword. I really like the way it looks, but sadly, since we can't make it, I wish there was a way to make our weapons look like certain other weapons. That'd be real nice. Let's see. Yeah, the rest of this, though, I don't think we care about it. Um, that's not too shabby. The uh, not too shabby. It's not anything we need. Hang on. Did you have one more page? I'm trying to get link. Yes. Decent. But I wish you could try to log your weapon and your shield and stuff like that. That'd be real neat. But I think if we talk to this guy in here, he'll give us the... the item here. The winds bear tidings that you and your friends prevailed against the beast who had made the king of Heliodor his slave. And yet Erdman's lantern has fallen, and Erdman finds himself once again in the grip of fear and confusion. I have a gift for you, Luminary, one that I hope might aid you in fulfilling your divine duty and restoring peace to this land we have what we call home. Pray, take it with my blessing. The Rusty Scepter. You hold in your hand the legendary Scepter of Time, the favored weapon of the Holy Sage Serenica. Alas, the elements have not been kind. Perhaps if you can find the necessary instructions, you might be able to restore to its former glories in that four years. The legends tell of Serenica's erstwhile companion, Drustin the Brave, having been a skilled blacksmith. Might he have been might he have left behind some clues as to the Scepter's composition? Potentially. But uh, we're not going to worry about that right away. Um, actually, I think this will take us over where we need to go. So, yeah, this works out pretty good. I'm going to grab some uh, enemies and basically just be done. Yeah, there's like three malicious monsters here. and Frankly, we're just going to claw them and get out and go on. Starting with the grenades, if we can wake them up. Malicious grenades, they don't even notice me, because they're stupid. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Mirror stone for a common steel, silver ore for a rare steel. I don't think any of these guys have anything we really care about for their other steels. Uh, I guess mirror stone could be kind of useful, but it's not really anything I care about off the, off the top of my head. Uh, how do you guys like a uh, nice zap to the face? Uh, yeah, you don't care. 
Uh, here, how about a, uh, cook rack? Uh, crack! Yeah, you care less about that than you do about the, uh, the, uh, lightning bolts. Shake up your ass. Good miss, good miss. Good crit, good crit. We're really not getting that uh, oomph on the uh, Berserk, are we? Like, we're not getting that Berserker blade terribly often. Oh well. We survive. Uh, malicious? Have we fought you guys yet? The little malicious, uh, Nidor dudes? I guess you're... I guess you're one of the other monsters we need to fight here. Malicious Pine Needler. Lamb's Wolf for a common, and Yggdrasil Leaf for a rare. Uh, but, again, we can buy Yggdrasil Leafs pretty easily, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh... I'm gonna zap all the Pine Needlers. Yeah, they don't care for that. Okay, uh, let's grab the... Mirror Stone if we can. No. Ooh, they multi-thrusted me like those bastards that they are. Alright, uh... Kaboom will them into oblivion, please, Veronica. Make sure all their out of the is scattered in Perfect. Fantastic. Uh, you're about to stay alive. Uh, it's more heal. So... And if we get a nice crit, then we get to go. Excellent. Okay, no crit, but it's good enough. I did get a level or two off screen when I was uh, getting those items, but nobody learned anything, so I'm not terribly worried about them. Alright, there should be one more little bastard around here of the Cyclopean variety. Yeah, there we go. Big ugly. Also, I want to grab that uh, rock formation right there. That's the stuff. Alright. I could have just got all three right okay. here. Thanks, Kim. Uh... Blue Eye for a common steel, and Hairy Vest for a rare steel. So again, absolutely nothing we care about. I'd rather get the, uh, Mirror Stone off this guy. Yes. What's your pet power? Angel's Breath? Yeah, we're good on MP. Quadruplash should do lots and lots of damage. Two blasters. At least two of them. Alright, and then we could dazzle this guy, that way then he tries to club us upside the head. And not get completely screwed here. Perfect. Awesome. Fantastic. We might as well use the might as well use the campsite to rest up before we head over to the slums of Heliodor, or downtown Heliodor, or however you want to call it. The official namings, I guess. All right, so zoom over to Heliodor City downtown. They have a couple new items for sale, I think, in the shops down here in Heliodor downtown, but I don't think it's anything we care about. There is going to be a quest over here, so that's one of the primary reasons we're doing it. Let's see if we talk to this little kid right here. Yeah, and there I was thinking this was the perfect spot. Ing about, you ain't who I thought you were. I thought me Mason rum rumbled me. We're playing hide and seek, you see? But if some bloke with a silly air duke can just happen across me like that, I can't be hiding very well, can I? Ah, must be losing my touch. Sounds like I'm gonna have to up me game, and that means getting some tips from the one and only all-time hide and seek master. Only problem is, he's the right pain to find, as you might expect. But I've got the perfect plan. I'm going to get you to find him for me. you do that for me, wouldn't you? Well, wouldn't you? The boy wants you to search for a hide-and-seek legend and have them teach you their tricks. Okay. Yeah, I guess this little uh, texture pack that I uh, installed makes the uh, the quest thing look different. I thought it was just supposed to make like the uh, texture sharper for the S version of the game, since the S version of the game goes for the... 
switch textures which aren't as sharp but I guess it makes some things look a little different. Frankly, it looks nice. Nice one. Now this all time hide and seek master I'm talking about ain't gonna be easy to track down, but I happen to know he's somewhere in Octagonia. Head to the orphanage there and have a stiff around. The kids there are pretty into their hide and seek, so they should be able to point you in the right direction. Actually, he's actually gonna end up over at uh, the at the uh, academy, so let's go there. And find him over there. Uh, but first, real fast, uh, let's just check out other stuff over here, see if there's anything we care about. Have you raised your prices on your end? Because that'd be kind of funny if you did. You raised your price, because I don't think it was 40 gold coins the last time we were here. That's for damn sure. And considering, you know, you can see the rats right outside your front door, it's probably not the best idea to pay that much for it. They've just had some big deal with the castle in honor of that luminary globe. Weren't you the most wanted criminal in the kingdom five minutes ago? Can't keep up with things anymore. Yeah, it's just the way things are. I don't think you have anything new that I care about in the slightest. Yeah, just, you, have, you have nothing new at all, surprisingly. But then the armor shop does have new stuff. Uh, I don't think I want to get a cold from you, thanks. You okay, kid? I'm gonna find you, Cam. I'm gonna find you if it's the last thing I do. Come out, come out wherever you are. Are you talking about that kid that I found way over there? I'll be honest, I don't remember Camo. I, I remember who he is, I don't remember what he looked like. Because that was, oh, I don't know, about 100 episodes ago. Alright, so somehow they're gonna sell armor for 16,000 gold down here in the... in the slums. Defense, deafness, and agility. Honestly, that's not too bad. The extra de uh, deafness. Um, the problem is it doesn't have the extra stuff that Derek likes. Let's see here. Yeah, the extra deafness is nice, but it's not enough to make up for 3% stealing item. If, if that particular headpiece had 80 deafness, that'd be the same as this particular piece right here, but it's not, so I think it says it had like 30. Yeah, it's not quite. So, much better defense. And then, let's see, evasion, agility, charm. Honestly, honestly, uh, the, the bolero might not be that bad. Uh, you lose the evasion and the charm and the wind damage reduction, but you gain some other stuff there. Um, I don't think it's completely necessary. I think we're going to be getting another outfit for Eric here pretty soon anyway, so yeah. If you want to buy it, go for it. I'm going to ignore it, so I'm okay with this. Alright, and then you have a quest as well. Hee 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 hee, I knew you'd be coming to Mistress Beds before long. It's out in the stars. I used to make a decent living telling fortunes and flogging a little oily water on the side. But since I'm flipping monsters when I got loaded stuff from the oily water, it stopped working. That meant people, that meant people stopped buying it, and I've been losing sleep ever since. I don't want to end up on the streets, do I? Anyway, I took a little look at what's up ahead, and I see me knight in shining armor. He was a silky haired lad of the kind heart who was keen as mustard to find me the divine dew I need to power up my merchandise and get me business back on his feet. So come on, darling, what do you say? Divine dew. Ooh, we get a pet pop. That's actually nice. I knew you'd say that. Nothing gets past the magnificent Mistress Bev. Now clear out your logos and listen up. Divine Dew comes rolling off the leaves of none other than the world tree itself. According to what I saw in my crystal ball, there's all these waterfalls and little ponds up on the first forest. If you have a poke around there, you're bound to find some. Go and find some Divine Dew and bring it back to Mrs. Bev. I know you do it. It's written in the stars. <laughs> you cackle like an evil old lady. Okay, so let's go. Let's go do that first. And then we'll go to the uh then we'll go to the academy and get that. Because with the academy one, we're gonna go over there, find them, come back over here, get our ten mini metal reward, and then go back to the academy, because I think at that point we have enough for Yeah, we'll have enough for a uh, reward. I think we have enough for a reward right now, but I'll I'll wait a little bit. Alright, um, I don't remember exactly where the uh, do is in the first floor, so I'll go find it off screen real fast and I'll be right back. Actually, I think it's like right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, there's also a bunch of enemies we can fight, some of which do have things we need. So we'll come back here after we do the, uh... 
we'll, we'll, we'll come back here after we get the uh, the two quests turned in, and then we'll take care of this stuff over here. I know one of the enemies here has item that we need for crafting that we're going to be able to steal a bunch of, so that'll be nice. And the guy that we're looking for in here, I think he's going to be behind the magic door that we unlocked back in Act 2, so let's go find him. I could probably stand to buy a few more pearls since I used all the ones that I had previously. Uh, let's, yeah, let's buy a couple. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I bought... How much could I buy with all my millions of gold? Let's see. I'm kind of curious. If I just bought... I, I could buy 9,000. Yeah, I don't need that many. Um, what if I just bought... A thousand. That's a hundred thousand. So if I bought... Um, yeah, I think a thousand is good enough for now. There we go. That's two uh, shields if I decide to go take more. At some point I probably will go steal more and just um, do all that off-screen again and come back with an extra million gold or something. Because why not? Kid or guy, you're just kind of hanging out in here, huh? We already got these pots, I think. You did it. You found me. You won. I'm Zero the Shadow, the one they call the Knight of the Night. Or at least the kids of the orphanage in Octagonia do. What's that? You're wondering why I'm hiding here? Well, that's simple. I was looking for the ultimate hiding place. Somewhere nobody in Octagonia would find me. And who would ever think to look for a grown man in a school of small girls, right? I thought it was my greatest stroke of hiding genius yet. Trouble is, I was so busy congratulating myself with my brainwave that they caught me before I had a chance to hide and locked me up in here thinking I was some kind of thief. Why would you have gone out of your way like this to find me? Is there something you need? What's that? You want to know the secret to be the secret to becoming a hide and seek master? How can I tell you that? I'm no master, you just found me after all. So since you've come all this way, I'd be happy to tell you what I think is the most important thing about the disappearing game. It's simple, having fun with your friends. Nothing is as precious as friendship and the fact that you might have pals who are actually willing to look for you instead of letting you rot in a cell or, or gather dust in an attic is something to truly treasure. I mean, usually when you play hide and seek, you're not supposed to fucking teleport off to a different fucking city, but I guess. I mean, yeah, nobody's gonna find you, but that's technically cheating for the most part. So, did you find him? Did you find out the secret of being an hide and seek master? You what? The point of hide-and-seek is having fun. Well, I've never looked at it like that before, but it's true, I suppose. If you didn't have anyone to play with, hide-and-seek wouldn't be much fun, would it? Yeah, that makes total sense. Nice one. I ain't gonna forget this. Every time I play from now on, I'll be sure to remember how lucky I am to have pals to play with. Thanks, mate. You trained me life. Here, I have this as a little token of me appreciation. And we got our mini medals. Awesome. He told the boy in Heliodor, Zero Shadow's greatest secret. And Zero believes hiding. The most important thing is enjoy the game with your friends. Fantastic. Yeah, where is, uh... Actually, I don't... Oh, is that the camo kid right there? That's actually a pretty good spot. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm camo, the king of hide and seek. Wait, don't tell me you're playing, too. Ah, you got me. I can't believe I got f found by grown-up. I need to up the game. Tell you what. How about, how about we make a little deal? I promise you won't tell me no one where I am, and I'll tell you something top secret. You know the red who runs the inn? When she was younger, she looked exactly like Roxy the Dancer. Oh, you're telling me the same stuff from, like, the very beginning of the game... I don't think we need to get past the guard again, so we're good. I think Roxy hangs out there, up at the uh, actual Heliodor part of the city instead of the downtown part of the city during the daytime. And she doesn't show up down here until it's uh, nighttime. She's very busy. Hello there. We brought back some Divine Dew. I'm gonna make a kill with this stuff. Nice one. Now I got nothing to give you as a reward, but I can tell your fortune for free. Tell me, mysterious orders of the fate. What's this link here to add your god in his plate? Spirits are talking to me. The Luminar needs that divine do more than you, Mr. Spev. And if I and if I don't hand it over, I'm destined to break a tooth on a tail slice of bread and die alone in an agony. Crikey. 
Well, there's no use arguing with the powers of destiny, sir. I don't want to meet me ends at the hands of a loaf of bread, do I? Looks like it's your lucky day, darling. I suppose you've got to save the world or fulfill your destiny and all that. Fair enough. I ain't about to stand in your way. I'll just pop it in a bottle for you. Better start thinking of another way to pay me rent and all. And we get Pep Pop. Nice. Divine Dew is also known as Pep Pop. Like the name says, he gets you pepped up and ready for anything. It's a good plan to have a drop or two handy when you go into battle. Now go and raid the world of evil, will you? Then I can tell everyone in his old mistress bed will the luminary save the day. That should be good for business. She quickly gave it back after foreseeing that she'd perish if he kept the hold of it. She's going to have to find another way of improving her profits. I wonder... Yeah, okay. I wonder how she's going to survive now. I wonder if that uh, guard is still guarding the door. Or if he'll just let me through since, you know, I'm Mr. Luminary Man. There's no way you're coming through here. Of course, there is one way to get me to change my mind. I'm talking about cold hard cash. Uh, no. You know who I am, you little bastard? I'm the Luminary. The man of the hour, the tower of the power, the one who will not cower. Uh, let's go to the academy here. And yeah, then we'll go hang out in the uh, first forest for a little while and get all sorts of stuff that we need there. I'll probably get some of it right now and then the rest I'll get off screen because uh, I think the uh, one of the enemies that I need to get the item from I think I need like 30 total for everything I needed to make in the game. <coughs> so it'll be a little while before I get everything, so yeah, I'll probably end up uh, getting a lot of it off screen as usual. Sir, I have a uh, Galaxy Mini Metal for you. Circle of Serendipity, nice. I think that's making. I think that makes it easy to find uh, rare items. There we go. Alright, so we got the Circle of Serendipity, and now we're gonna get. Styles for All Seasons. Nice. Yeah, I think this is the last page right here, too. Let's see, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, this is the last page. Spring Breeze hats, Summer Cloud hats, Autumn Shower hats, and Winter Sky hats. And we need four more for Glamour Gear for Goer Getters. Okay, cool. Awesome. Chef de Class de Medallies. Medallies, however you pronounce it. I don't freaking know. Alright, let's see what we got. I think these are status protection, actually, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, bedazzling protection, instant death protection, confusion, and sleep. So, 25%. It's just a shame they're not more powerful, but they are pretty nice for the most part. Cumulonimbo, we're gonna... Haven't we had Cumulonimbo yet? No. Confusion, it's okay. Honestly, Bedazzling for Blind is not bad. Uh, so they all have some combination of Magical Might and Magical Mending. So you have the best Magical Mending. Uh, you have a nice, even balance of both, for both of these two. And then Sleep has Magical Might. Yeah, these are all reasonably decent. Um... Yeah, it looks like they just need different of the last one, and then the uh, the the jewel. These are four and a half stars. I don't know if we're gonna need a. I don't know if we need to make these yet, but they're not bad, that's for sure. Magical uh, confusion. Honestly, confusion would probably be the uh, the best one that I care about right now, or instant death, but. Yeah, we'll survive without it. We'll survive without it. And then that uh, circlet, I think... I think this guy's the only one that can wear it. Um, there's, some, there's, there's only like one person that can wear the damn thing, I think. Oh, it's a, it's a ring. Okay. Yeah, it's only for the hero. Chant... Oh, okay, that's right. Chance of meeting rarefied forms of monster increased. There you go. Um, defense and charm. 
Yes, yeah, so that'll make it easier to get the rare monsters. I'll probably eventually try to get all those guys. Um, off uh, at some point, but it's gonna. It's not high. In, it's not high in my priority list right at the moment. All right, let's go look around for some of these monsters here. Uh, yeah, let's start at the top and work our way back. I guess. Why not? I don't think I don't think this chest respawned. Actually, no, it did, but we already got it because there was a mini metal in there. That's right. All right. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. That's actually a fair chunk of monsters in here. Let's go. Are you the same one? Yeah, I think you're the same, like fright bulb or whatever. No, you're the militia sprite. Okay. Cool. Let's keep at it. All right, fellas, what do you got? Um, malicious sprite bulbs, superior medicines from a common steel, and restoratives from a rare steel. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool if we uh, cared about that. Uh, but frankly, I don't. So. Oh, a flame slash did absolutely no damage. What a shock. Don't. Oh, you healed me. Okay, I thought that was going to, like, paralyze me or some shit. I am okay with the fact that I did not. Yeah, you guys are probably more weak to fire than you are to lightning, but I wanted to see how much that would actually do to you. Okay. Not as, uh, bad as I was hoping. Be gone! And then, let's see... I'm gonna Giga Smash, see how this does. Not that, not that much, actually. You guys are remarkably durable. You're not very dangerous, but you're durable. Ah, thwack, you're missing a lot more than I would care for. Let's get cracking! Yeah, I cracked it okay. It, these guys are just re resistant to everything, I guess, well. Easy peasy. Alright, Mr. Dragon. I know this guy has a serpent skin for a ra uh, common steel. Uh, let's see. Dragon tail whip for a rare. If we were using whips, that'd be great, but we're not, so... At the very least, yeah, getting serpent skin is always something we're gonna need. Get fucking crit. Goddamn, son. Was I at full health or close to it? I don't remember, but, uh, sir, that kind of hurt. And also, Veronica yes. needs more figure stories. Okay, so, let's go ahead with him of fire. Helps. There we go. Some fire defense. That hurt. Fucking goddamn it, dude. Thanks. Alright, let's see again. Okay, Eric, you're fucked up, that's fine. Uh, we're not gonna. Um, we can put him to sleep, but. Actually, let's see how much uh, Fatal Flash will do right now. Probably a pretty decent chunk. How someone would kill. Damn. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's multi heal everybody. And then. Let's go ahead and pop these uh, Sages staff to get rid of that breath attack bastardness. I got there. this! Well, that's gonna do significantly less damage. Uh, yeah, much better. And you knocked me down, you bastard. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and sap him. We can probably blunt him as well to make our lives easier. Uh, that you is brought this on the Black Dragon outside of Heliodor is pretty easy to get with that. I was hoping this guy would also uh, be done with uh, the first attempt there. Sadly, not quite. Alright, uh, let's see. 
to another Fatal Slash. That is still doing a pretty good amount of damage. Like, it's not doing, like, Persecutor amounts of damage, but again, you don't have to set it up, so that's actually working out pretty good on me. Alright, you're hallucinating. Awesome. Luckily, that still counts as a breath attack, so we're good. There we go. You put up a fight there, sir. Did I do all that's right? the breath attack. Ooh, uh, another... Actually, yes, we can use your skill points to finally get you your... Your, uh... One more fucking point away. Okay. One more point. But we eventually do want to get up here for a critical claim, because that's also a really good ability for metal slime hunting. But that'll be that'll be next on the agenda. Okay, so we got that from those guys. I think up here, you guys are like the only ones that show up, right? Like there's not a whole lot else that actually pops up around this particular area. So let's go ahead back to the actual forest part here. It's a good thing the rare versions don't seem to get an extra malicious version, because that'd be a pain in the ass. Malicious and Fanticore. What's up? Alright, so let's see. Enchanted stone from a common steel and a skull ring from a rare steel. I think we can... Do it. Don't we already have a uh, skull ring or something? I thought we did. That's the one that's, um, isn't that the one that is just in death protection? Hang on. No, that's dark and instant death protection. Uh, we don't have access to it yet, but we are going to be getting the recipe in the near future, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, I don't care about your enchanted stone either, but it's there, so why not? Uh, let's see. Sword against you and do your death. Let's go ahead and uh sap you're tough, do you? Okay. There's no need for that. Dazzle! Dazzle, if you want to ever like actually work, that'd be fantastic. But you never do want to work, so I'm very sad about that. You have it out for Veronica, don't you? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to kill you and not deal with you anymore because you're not worth it. Yeah. Average steals. I mean, yeah, the skull ring's not bad, but I don't want to get pepped up to go find that. All right, what else we got around here? Uh, oh yeah, we got this weird little bridge. This place is, oh, there we go. You guys are the ones that we're gonna wanna be stealing from because these guys, uh, I think their common is the, uh, I, think, I think it's the red stick, let me check. Uh, malicious. Uh, stump chump. Yeah, red wood is their, is their uh, common steel and the Yggdrasil leaves are their rare. But yeah, we definitely want their uh, red woods. So yeah, we're gonna try to grab those whenever we can, because those are necessary for stuff. Um... Okay, one of you, one of you died immediately. Damn, fucking hell! What the hell was that? No. Oh, I kind of hurt, whatever that was. Okay, and you guys are going to die. Um, can I put you guys to sleep? Because that'd be great. Oh, one of you went to sleep. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, I think you need like 30 of these total to make everything in the game that... Uh, or for everything that you're going to need. For them, at least. So... 
You got your work cut out for you. Um, confuse you guys. Yeah, the black dragons outside of Helidor are also vulnerable to being confused, so... Hey! We're gonna... Can I re-steal from you? That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, come on, Eric! You're really killing me here. The knacker. Oh, our attack went down. Um, you know what? I don't want to make you guys suffer, so I'll take care of all this uh, red thing. Episodes. But other than that, it's. Kind of not worth making you guys sit there and deal with me having to steal forever. But just to keep in mind, What's yours you is mine. okay. So when they bring him back to life, they still count as being stolen. Yeah, eventually you're gonna want to steal like 30 red sticks from these guys. So there we go. Hendrick gets a level great. Nope. I'll grab all this stuff later. Let's see. Where is everybody else that we need to talk to? Come on, where are you guys at? Sir, you're sleeping right in the middle of the uh, path there. I don't think he cares. I think he just woke up, actually. Um, ooh, there's a Jowler. Have we already fought you? No, I guess not. Okay. So let's take you. You're exactly the same as the other guy, you know that? Jowler and Lucifer. Okay. What do we got? Alright, so the Lucifer, Magic Beast Torn from a Common Steel, and Seed of Life from a Rare Steel, so that's nice, that's nice. Uh, and then the, um, the Jowler, Magic Beast Torn from a Common Steel, and Kibble and Nimble from a Rare Steel. Uh, there's actually an enemy in the forest that has Kibble and Nimble as a Common Steel, so don't ever try to worry about that from him, I guess. Uh, Lucifer, I guess we can steal for your Beast Torns. Yeah, the Beast Torns are reasonably useful. If I remember correctly, the Lucifers have lots of uh, magical powers, right? Um, yeah, let's just sap you. Just sap you guys, try to get you guys more, more vulnerable to dying. That'd be fantastic. And... Yeah, that's the buff up over here. Because I know the Jowler is hit like a truck. Yeah. I got a flame breath. That's actually, that's actually not hitting for too hard, though, so that's not terribly What's yours is mine. inconvenient. Alright. Nice and easy. And... Let's try a crackle on you, sir. What's a crackle? We don't have to crackle with Veronica Sadly. That kind of hurt. Not too bad, though. Alright, and yeah, we have enough to steal up. And I think, um, what is it? The, uh, the sucky bat, and then I think that, uh, coral dude should be. Basically, the last couple enemies in the area. Unless I'm missing something here. Another Magic Beast Torn. Cool. No, there's one more. Okay. Is it one of. Uh, it might be one of those uh, little pine needler dudes. But you. Yeah, malicious fruity sucky bats. Uh, their common steel is a cubicle and nimble, and you definitely want to grab a couple of these. I don't remember exactly how many, but uh, you definitely want to grab several of these.
if we can actually steal, it'd be great. Uh, Serena, you're not into the uh, buff buff, hopefully. Yeah, she's confused. And I don't think we're going to get the King of Limbo's in this particular fight. Again, I'll probably just find them or steal them off screen or something. So it's not too bad of a, too big of a deal. All right, you. Delicious Mastodon. Looking all big and green and ugly and not hopey at all. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, equable Emeralds from a common steel and state of defense from a rare steel. Uh, in this in the version of the game, seeds are easier to get from other ways, so... Also, these guys only show up in, like, groups of one, so... Good luck getting multiple of their seeds. Like, you could. It just take you forever to get a decent amount. Thanks. Ooh, no MP. Nice. And... Frizz you... That worked out pretty good. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> ah, and then there should be one more enemy. It's the living statue. Um, I don't remember where you guys show up though. That's the problem. You guys over here somewhere? Oh, you're you're in that cave, aren't you? Yeah, you're in that cave. Um. Yeah, we gotta go down. Yeah, you guys are over here, I think. We don't have that other campsite as a uh, zoom point. I thought we did. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think like the Arborian Highlands. That's no. Hang on. Summit. I feel like we don't. Yeah, I feel like we don't have that particular campsite as a uh, as a uh, zoom point for some reason. Yeah, we need one of these statues. There we go. Alright, and then for these guys, uh, Flintstone for their common steel and Diamond for their rare steel. Which, sadly, the diamonds are not as uh, useful What's yours is mine. in this version of the game as apparently they are in other Dragon Quest games, sadly. Uh, yeah. Defense, down, you die. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna spend too much time. Or I don't think I'm gonna spend too much time uh, stealing from this guy. That's for sure. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you goodness. Yeah, there we go. That should be all the enemies here. And yeah, so we gotta, we gotta. I'm gonna fight a bunch of sucky bats and uh, red, uh, stump chumps off screen in between episodes, and try to get their rare steals because well, we're gonna need them for for rafting because well. The game likes you to be able to craft a lot of stuff, so yeah. I'm gonna go rest at this campsite and then see if we can't actually tell uh, work to it or not. Unless I'm just missing something. Yeah, first forest campsite. Alright, let's rest up here. Alright, so if I try to zoom... 
Yeah, we, we didn't have it there for some reason. We had the uh, Arborean Highlands and we had the uh, Summit. We didn't have this one for some reason. Did I never rest at this at the uh, like first part of the game or something? Or maybe I didn't get it because I didn't rest here in the second part of the game or something like that. Huh. Well, either way, uh, we did more running around getting materials from monsters. Next episode, we're going to be doing more of the same for a while. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.